well, you feel stuck and you know you deserve better, your person do try to come through and tell you that they do have feelings for you. But you're being pushy. You're asking for too much. That's what they say. And you felt heartbroken by that because you're not asking for too much. You're just asking for that commitment. You know, the same thing as you're giving them that energy. And they always tell you that you guys have a future together. So you're saying it's time, but you feel like they're just using you and it's one-sided. Now they hold back from you and you're just waiting and you're thinking consistently here why they have ghosted you. And it feels like they're just fooling around and they're just enjoying and having their time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Scorpios, let's see what's going on here. So, you're torn because you're already asking. We're going to go to your side and then your person's side over here. It does look like, it does feel like it's more of... You don't know why you're still with them. Hangman with the judgment. You feel that I've always tried my best um, and I just want to move things forward already and don't feel that I'm just putting all this effort for nothing. So you have some sort of logic inside your head that um, right now it's about settling. Uh, right now it's about, because you, know, you have a king of cups over here, right? That could be you also. Like you're ready for the real deal. The married life, you know, the settling type, or not even that. It's just more of like you're a grown person and you want something serious. You have a king and queen of pentacles here. Then you have a three of swords. So it feels like you're ready to just say, you know what? It is what it is. It's time for me to just, you know, give up on this. Three of swords. You felt betrayed by them, by the way, because they didn't make that effort and energy the same as you do. So it feels like it's halfway or not even because the moon with the devil over here, it, is, it does look like for the Scorpios, there's a lot of things that your person has been hiding from you and they have isolated themselves, hermit. And right now, it feels like your person, it's not, they're not asking time. Well, they just have a pentacles. You're waiting for them. And they told us, like, yeah, 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 for sure. Like, we're, we're, we have a future together. I'm sorting my things out. Um, you know, there are heirs at work or their career. But they're also going to say here with the hermit that I'm not ready. You know, there, there are shadowy things that I have to deal with because you have the moon and the devil. Mm -hmm. So they could be doing, you know, like normally this is like a shadow work. So I don't know if your person is into, into to that kind of work. But this is like facing their fears, their demons and going with it, you know, it's just like really, really working their deep issues and trauma, okay? But if they're not doing that, you know, and they're not that vibration of going introspection, um, but the hermit with the moon, yes, that's introspective. Like they're really trying to understand who they are, what they are. But the way that they are gonna project to you is like some sort of addicting behavior. When they want you, they want you. So I feel like they're going through some sort of dark night of uh, dark night of the soul. I think it's also it's called right. And instead of like working that issue with you or expressing to you, they go out, have fun, drinks, and you know, and be around people. That's the that's the nine of cups. So it, it's like they can be lazy at times, working on themselves while promising you. It's like, listen, I'm working on myself, and we're gonna be together. So you get this mixed signals from them. It's just like, you told me that you're not ready, so it's fine. But then I see you doing all those things that we could be doing also, you know, going out, having fun and all these things, but you remove yourself from the relationship. You just, you, either they separate with you, okay? So you're saying now with the judgment, with the devil, it's just like, I can't be part of this. Like, you're just using me. You're just telling me, you know, like there are good things, but there's not. And I'm seeing through it now. You, Scorpio, you're seeing through it. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't think you would stick around. Not unless you really feel like you guys are this magical pair, King and Queen of Pentacles. So you feel that. And that's why, you know, you're kind of stuck with them with the hangman. Okay. Can be doing with the Cancerian. You have the devil over here. And then you have um, a Capricorn. 
another Scorpio. You could also be fighting for reconciliation. Your person, um, you know, you're waiting for them. I'm seeing here to reconcile with you. I'm seeing also, you know, you're dealing with the Virgo who's very, I have to say this, they're stuck up. If it's a Pisces, there is a part of the Pisces that is halfway, meaning um, they are saying that, oh, we can, but, you know, like, I'm not sure how. If it's a Scorpio, I feel like the Scorpio is very much into you. They just don't know how to express their feelings. Plus, they could also be, uh, you know, Moon and the Devil is like a, meant uh, you know playing mind games there's a lot of fear here that i'm seeing from your person also i feel like they have some of you guys whoever you're dealing with has a fear of commitment Ooh, be careful scorpio because mm -hmm. you got the that one is be aware there's stranger danger basically fear also it's like you're being pried upon you're vulnerable you know there's danger in this relationship or in this connection let me see Oh, there are tricks. Your person has tricks, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Your person has, um, how do you call this? Has been um, like showing you some sort of illusion. This is like conjuring something, but it's not real. Telling you things, but you know, making you believe that this is the situation. You know, so they can be very manipulative. I'm seeing it here. Okay. Now it's very important for us to see the next thirty days because I say. There's 12 months in a year. And then, you know, if you're thinking of investing in a relationship or you're stuck in a relationship, you know, 30 days is enough for us to make that decision, isn't it? You know, so we don't need to make our lives complicated. Next 30 days. So let's see that. So this is a crucial time for you. So that way, I mean, come on, it's already half of the year. So if we're going to be stuck, you know, let it consume at least just the last 30 days, you know, so we can move on. And your best course of action to stay ahead in this kind of relationship is very important, especially that they have mind games and tricking you. So we need to find out what's their next step and what could be your best move. Your foreseeable future is here, if it's together or not with them and what would be their future. Okay, let's see, let's continue here. Um, I'm seeing like your person also is a, is a bit on the sensitive side. So they tend to isolate themselves every time you talk to them direct. Oh, I exchanged this. Okay. And you're just mentally exhausted also here, Scorpio. Ooh, well, there's a big news coming for you. Now, I like this sun card here, especially if you are about success, fame, um, recognition. But it's also healing with the sun card. But this is a very positive news about your work, your business, or your career. You might get discovered or you might like, um, how do you call this, rise to fame, rise to success in your endeavors. Because So the sun is about the hard work, meaning that's Saturn hard work. But, you know, when the sun is up, right, we all work hard. So you've been working hard on a big project, King and Queen of Pentacles. And you may have a business partner or you're going to find someone who is the same liking as you because the sun is an Atma. So if business and you're oriented, this is going to be a good time for you. Now, um, in this uh, specific energy right here, it's always about um, raising your vibration, right? So... The way it works for me is that I use crystals to get me up there. Let me share with you. Here are three ways that citrine can empower you today. Citrine is commonly used in feng shui to attract wealth and success. It is an affordable substitute for yellow sapphire, which is connected to planet Jupiter, the planet of luck and growth. Citrine also helps to improve self-confidence and reduce anxiety, which has helped me and so many others during our most difficult times. Start your journey to wealth and inner beauty with Idrit Love's handmade citrine bracelets available now. Okay, so that's how I raise my vibration. You know, there are down times, of course, you have a three of swords. And it kind of, of course, when we're in the down, we, uh, you know, it, we get a setback, right? So for me, like, you know, um, the crystals for me, how it works is that it brings me back there. It aligns with me, you know, it focuses, it boosts my confidence, especially citrine, right? And then we have here, okay, so you can check it out. It's in the description box, it's made to order. Um, so please be patient when I make it for you. 
Um, it, but it's available in different sizes and we ship international, okay? So it's about opportunities and success. Citrine is right on the money. So if you are trying to get that, uh, that money bag, you gotta, got, you gotta have this one, okay? <laughs> Queen of Cups, oh wow. You definitely have a soulmate here, Scorpio. Oh, but you can't do anything. You have the Eight of Swords. So you feel right now that in this connection, it's like, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Wow, they're an emperor. Okay, self-made person. The world can be their own boss. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Okay. It feels like something... I feel like we did a reading and so... Oh, but we have to be careful because... Remember, they could be just telling you this uh, in the moon. But they have deep feelings for you, which I feel like it's just about to come out. This is a person who plays around, but then after meeting you, it's like they know that you're not in that kind of business. So something serious is about to come, okay? It feels like with the Ace of Cups and the Emperor, I mean, if the Magician chooses the Ace of Cups, then that's someone extending their love and their feelings to you. Oh, okay. Let me see. Now the sun card with the judgment over here. So let's just say you text them, you call them, you message them, and you tell them this is how it's gonna be. Now the sun would be that message back to you. Okay, so if you push that button, you know, let's see the sun card. This is the result, the outcome of what you have been doing. Now, or will be doing. Should you do it though, because you have a judgment. Judgment's either reconcile, be together, not together, you know, moving forward. So, should you do that? Since your person is an emperor, they're very strong-willed. They're also, I mean what I say and I say what I mean, and you can't tell me what to do. But I wanna see what your person wants to do. Okay. Now there, of course, we did say that there's the devil and there's the moon, which only means that there has been some deception. Ooh, okay, seven of pentacles. Um, two of pentacles coming out. I want to see what kind of gains is your person. Now, they could also be just fearing this love and this commitment, a commitment phobe, or just scared to be vulnerable. That's why they recluse themselves with the hermit. So this is a pattern that they do. Every time that you and your person get close, they pull back their energy and then just vanish with the hermit. Mm -hmm. We're not done. Okay, so there is an extended reading in the description box below. Let's see your card of focus. And don't forget, guys, um, if you order early, then that's as far uh, as then I can make it ahead. I don't know, I can't make it ahead because it's a line right now. There's a line. Okay, <laughs> let me see here. Ooh, okay. So your card of focus is the partnership, the give and take, reciprocity. This is the justice card. Now, the justice card is coming here as your focus because you want things equal between you and your person. So you want things to work. Now, the scale over here is not about balance. It's a merchant scale. Uh, people think like it's a balance. It's not a balance. It's a merchant, meaning it is a trade-off. It is an agreement. Libra, the seventh, natural seventh house, is about an agreement where we make with a person. So, you know. But that's, you know, that's like the of Vedic Astrology. So there was an agreement between the two of you. This could have been a past life connection um, that you guys have agreed to. Um, and then now is the time that you guys are meeting, you know, and trying to settle this kind of karma. You have the devil in the world card. So it seems like this is tough. This is slow. You know, it takes some time. But with the king, queen of cups over here and the king, king, king and queen of pentacles, you feel like you guys are a perfect match. But your person has the tendency to be stubborn and then you know like again just vanish so where is this leading is it going to be balanced meaning is it gonna, there is there going to be a trade you know are they giving you know is there something that's going to be reciprocated you know are they going to do the right thing will they make their also their final judgment okay well let's find out link in the description box below let's dive deeper and answer all your questions and extended reading